What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Two Minute Tuesdays and today we're going to be talking about filters. Alright, so the first type of filters I do want to talk about are going to be your circular polarizer filters. And these are actually one of my favorites for many reasons, mainly because they add a nice touch of vividness to the photo. But the really cool thing that they do is they decrease the amount of glare in your photo by turning the ring here. So the more you turn the ring, the more you get toward max polarization, which will take away the max amount of glare. And the other way you turn it, or you can do a full complete turn, you'll go back to minimum polarization. Now there's another type of variable neutral density filter. And the way these work is you have a ring similar to your circular polarizer that you can turn and you actually see it get brighter and darker. And it lets you go in between those incremental stops of two, six, and four, and actually kind of get in between with like two and a quarter, two and a half. So you can really dial in the scene that you want to get. So if you're doing any kind of videography or want to do long time day exposures, definitely pick one of these up. All right, and the last types of filters I want to talk about are going to be your protection and UV filters. Now, a protection filter generally doesn't have a UV coating on it. It's just a flat piece of glass on there, and it protects your lens from debris, dust, and any kind of possible breaks you might hit. Now, if you want to bring that up to the next level, you can get a UV filter, which is what I generally recommend, because if you get a high-end UV filter, it can help you decrease the amount of haze. It keeps your front elements safe from any kind of UV light coming through. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. As you just saw, I always recommend a UV filter just for any kind of impact, dust, debris, and just keeping your lens overall safe. It's a good thing to have, and they don't cost a lot of money. It's really cheap insurance for your lens. They're really cool, and you can really change up your photography with just a filter. Now, if you like what we're doing, check out the rest of our videos, and also subscribe and like to the channel, and check us out on Facebook and Instagram, too. We'll see you guys next time.